Hello, thanks very much for watching this video. My name is Yogesh Parsala, and I want to show you how you can use Mailgun and uh, use another online email clients like Gmail, Hotmail to access, send, and mail email. So, first we will start with Gmail. So, in previously, we show you how you can set up the Mailgun. So, we hope that you already got a domain and everything is set up and working. All right, so let's go to the Gmail. First thing I want to I want to mention you that the Mailgun do not provide POP or IMAP server, meaning it is not used to uh, receive email. Okay, but what the alternative is, you can set up a forwarder. So what does it mean? For example, when he, when someone sends an email to contact at errorsolver.com then it will come to mailgun because we have set the mx record because mx record is used is mail exchange record so email will come here okay so what mailgun will do is it will forward that to your gmail which is better isn't it All right so for that you need to create a root and uh, in the root you can expression type will be catch all or match recipient i would do catch all and action is forward and then put your gmail address so what will happen is it will forward the emails to this email address all right so then say create root then go to roots there are two roots i've created one for another one hotmail and one for gmail so any email will come to mailgun will be forwarded to these routes okay let's try let me send an email from my yahoo to contact and the meaning of catch all is you know anything before at the red will be catched for instance it might be info or contact or support whatever it will be catched so that's good error solver.com yes from so we are sending email to here and it should come to my gmail message has been sent so if you can go to gmail see is here just from yahoo test and if you click on that and you know this one then he sees it comes from yahoo and uh, the two address is contact at carersolver.com see any email will be sent to this domain will be forwarded to this my gmail now to organize it properly what i also can do is create a label create a new label so what will happen is it will organize all the email coming from this coming from this uh, this uh, email address will be organized into one place so for instance here i have created so many labels for many other of my G, uh, email addresses so all those emails are organized here all right so this is how you will receive email now let's talk about how you can send email from gmail and you, you'll be using not gmail but you'll be using smtp uh, this one mailgun okay so for that you need to go to settings and then settings and then account and import and here send mail as i guess i have already done it all right no problem i've already done the info one now let me try to do another one i can put any email address here like contact or support or whatever okay at com, and you can put name here as well like uh or any company name whatever you know or your name doesn't matter okay it try to give the default settings but uh, we, we don't want to do that we want to have our mail gun so if you can see this 
this is the SMTP server or SMTP host. Copy that and paste that as a SMTP server. And the username is the one provided here. This is the username to access this SMTP. Okay, and the password. So this is the Just leave it as it is, that's fine, and add a comment. It will send an email to this one. So any email will be sent will be going to the Gmail. So let's go to the Gmail. See Gmail team confirmation. So this is to confirm uh, to add this contact at errors.com. Just click this and confirm, and that's it. You have added your SMTP server now uh, if you go to compose email to for example we want to send to hotmail okay hotmail and here from the from there is a drop down menu and you can select whichever you want so where is it the one we added okay it seems uh, it's uh, not uh, here yet let me refresh the page So uh, if we can go back to compose and from the drop down menu, it should be there. See it's here, error solver. See it's an error solver. So uh, right, and we're going to send it to Hopman. So that email will be sent as contact at errorsolver.com as this, not as your Gmail, but as this to your customer. Okay, so if I can go to Hotmail and if I can refresh the inbox, it should be there. Okay, it seems it's uh, not uh, yet arrived. So it sometimes it may take some time to arrive. So, but if you want to see the results, then you, you can go to logs, logs, and select the right domain. Then you will see here. See it's here. Uh, it's uh, it says from contact from here to Hotmail, and from here to is already gone. It's uh, server response two five zero. Okay, so means it's done. You also can see the message from here show message details I mean, uh, actually it's not a uh, like a uh, like whole message but it's like uh, this HTML but anyway so this is how we configure our SMTP when you use Gmail so that's it so now you can send and receive email as this custom domain name from SMT uh, Mailgun by using Gmail. Now I will quickly show you how you can do the same thing in Hotmail. It's a very similar process. In the Hotmail, you do the exact same thing. First, you uh, set a forwarder. So, for example, you from here, you sorry, from here you just uh, go to Roots. And then set up a catch all forwarder to your Hotmail account. Okay, set up that. Once you set that up, and then all you need to do is go to settings, options, and from here, connected accounts. Or, yeah, connected accounts also. Yeah. Connected accounts or from connected accounts. I think. And here I have put these two. You can add as many email accounts as you want um i will see manually configure this one so okay and uh, because uh, mailgun uh, does not provide imap or pop 
server so we'll only keep this one and uh, receiving email will be done by forwarding so click ok you put the details which email address you want let's put maybe one support and so com and username password and this smtp server are of uh, sorry the domain Username and password, please. So. And outgoing SMTP server, that's our host name. all right so uh, just don't worry about this so we created this support at errorsolo.com support at errorsolo.com okay we just created this one and now just head over to so we have set up forwarder receive email and sender via this method so let's go back to the creation So see here from the drop down menu, you can select the email custom email address. So you select the support one and the two I want to send it to now. You can send this to your customer. So you will create a form test. So it will now use SM, uh, the mailgun SMTP and your custom email address to send email. That's it. So from here, okay, it will take some time. Yeah, so as you can see here, it's uh, here. So it's uh, now coming from uh, errorsolver.com and uh, it's uh, coming to my channel. So it's uh, mailed by and signed by errorsolver.com. Perfect. Sometimes what might happen is uh, the emails are being stuck in draft folder without sending. So you just uh, need to resend them again. But uh, that's it. Pretty much. You can now send your this mailgun smtp emails from gmail as well as from hotmail and you also can do the same thing with the outlook which is offline outlook which uh, quite uh, very similar thing but uh, i will cover that in another video so thank you so much for watching and i hope this will be helpful so stay tuned